Chemical Brothers on the other stage. Do you think they're actually doing anything behind that? I mean, they got loads. No, they did. Well, they're doing that a lot. lot of I saw Tom earlier on before yeah. they went on stage, and I was like, "Oh, you nervous? You scared?" He was like, "Nah, I'm just excited. Really, genuinely excited. Yeah. I'd be yeah. very scared if I was going out to do that, wouldn't you're, you?" You're, well, of course, I've played on the other stage, yeah, no, Joe, sorry. with the, the but well, not the pyramid stage. Not the well. So I, slightly, I kind of went on with Elbow this afternoon, actually. I was in their backing oh. vocals choir. Ah, so that's uh, it. The last track they did, was yeah, it? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Cast the Grace Under Pressure with, oh, okay. uh, yeah, with, uh, with hundreds of people. And I was one of them. But I, I feel intrinsically I made a difference. I'm sure you did. I'm <laughs> sure you did. I think they were pleased to know I was there. It was a safety net for them, you know. So you've been blagging it on stage all the time. I've been trying to get on stage and getting turned away all the while. You need one of these. Uh, you, uh, all right, sort me out with the one. Right, it's not, this one's not even got my name on, but it seems to get me on the stage. But well, everybody you... knows you. When I go to the stage and say, can I come on, I'm doing the telly, they say, right, because I look like a bloke who's come to change a cable on an amplifier. I'm aware of this. <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, you're all right. Everybody knows you. Yeah, right. you know, but uh, I'll get your password tomorrow. Okay, sort me I'll, out. I'll, I'll, I'll see what um, I can do. Yeah. Some of the other things that we're doing over the weekend, we're obviously going to show you some of the highlights of bands. We've got Gold Prap coming up a little bit later on, Kings of Leon as well, yeah. who you weren't too impressed with. But we'll discuss well, that we'll a bit later. I, no, no, I don't no, want we'll to be that. unkind. We'll We've got that. Franz Ferdinand coming up as well, who yeah. was terribly impressed yeah. with. Right? But we're also doing these acoustics, so there's a whole new world somewhere out there which you're going to investigate now. Um, and we're getting different people to come in and do acoustics. And Arthur Lee came in earlier on. Wow. I saw him kind of wandering around. Bandana, I think, still Fantastic. In place. I mean, he looked like some kind of Louisiana witch doctor who got lost in Somerset. He had a top hat, wrap around shades, bandana, mm. snakeskin pimp boots, you know. Yeah. You see, that, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of adopting a look more like that. I mean, you know, I just feel like... I, Better than Cherry Red DMs. Well, you know, what can you do? Yeah, and but like, he, looked, he looked all the bit of legend, didn't he? He looked the part. He didn't yeah, look the really part. Did. You can see that now. This is Arthur Lee doing um, Bummer in the Summer, of course. 